Hi guys, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial for you today, and this is a super wearable, just throw on in the morning look. And a little bit about how, what inspired me. I was inspired by the model Rosie Huntington Whiteley, and she's a Victoria's Secret model. And she just had a gorgeous, dewy, kind of glowy, natural, everyday look, but it was so pretty. And I thought, you know, I should try and recreate that. But I'm just calling this look inspired by her because I really couldn't get close enough to see exactly what she had on, but I had a, an idea. And so far I've done my foundation, my filled in my brows, and put it on a little of a Dream Mousse Concealer by Maybelline, or bronzer, I'm sorry. And this one has a little bit of a shimmer. Whatever you use, you just want something with a little shimmer to give you that glow. And next I'm going to take my highlighter. You can take any liquid highlighter you want, but I'm just using the Body Shop. And this is a very dewy look. And I'm just going to get my mirror and look in here because when I look into the webcam, it's backwards. And this is a little pricey, so you can use whatever you can find at the drugstore. I know um, e.l.f. has their shimmer whips. They don't really sell that in Canada as far as I know, so... I'm just going to put that on the cheekbones. To get that nice dewy look. And I think you can put a little on your nose if you want, but I already have that bronzer on there and it's, for some reason the shine shows up most on my nose so I don't want to end up looking like Rudolph. And next, um... I'm going to start on the eye makeup. I'll finish the blush after. I've already applied my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and then I'm going to take my um, Wet n Wild Cream Eyeshadow Stick in Pixie. And this is just a nice neutral tone I'm going to use as a base, and it has some really pretty shimmer. Just a little bit on that lid and kind of focusing in on the inner corner. I'm going to blend that out with my ring finger. Just a very natural glow to the eyelid. Next I'm going to be taking my Vanity Palette by Wet n Wild. And I'm going to be taking the shimmery, kind of off-white, cream-colored shadow, the one right here. And I'm going to apply this using a big uh, fluffy crease brush. And the reason I'm using a crease brush is because I don't want the color too concentrated. This isn't a very, you know, harsh white eyeshadow she has on. I just want it to be, you know, a little bit of shimmer there. So I'm going to dab my brush in there. Make sure that pixie's blended out or it will cause your shadow to crease and apply this on the lid. This is a really natural look. Next, I'm going to be taking a, the matte taupe shade in this palette, this one here. And I'm going to be using my crease brush, and I just washed it so it's a little bit wet. It looks kind of wonky, but it's by Pure Minerals. Just take any crease brush that isn't too big, because you want that color relatively concentrated just in the crease. And Take a shadow that's not um, just like a couple shades darker than your skin tone. You don't want to end up going too dark. I'm trying to get in the habit of not blowing on my brushes. And apply that into your crease. And I'm bringing it up a little bit past where my crease is, just a little bit towards the brow bone, just blending the little extra bit up. Same on the other eye. 
And I apologize because the lighting isn't great in this video because I'm using my webcam. But hopefully you can get a good idea of what I'm doing. And it doesn't look too washed out. I'm bringing this down in the outer part of the wood. Next I'm taking my big fluffy crease brush and I'm just going to blend that shade out. And really you just want like a hint of a shadow there. You don't want it to look like you're wearing anything in your crease. But obviously she has a little bit of something there. So. Next, just using the same brush, I'm going to take a little bit of the, uh, I'm just going to even my eyes out a bit to start with. And I'm going to take a little bit of the matte shade in this palette, the matte cream color, and apply this as a highlight. She doesn't appear to have much shimmer on her brow bone, so that's, that's the reason I'm using the matte color. I'm really trying to get out of the habit of um, pulling on my brushes. Now I'm going to take a uh, the dark brown in this palette, the matte one, and she doesn't even appear to be wearing eyeliner to tell you the truth, but her eyelashes are nice and thick, and I'm going to just use that, and I'm just going to go right in the inner, outer part of my upper lash line. And I'm not wetting the brush or anything. Since these powders are, are a little, not as um, quite finely milled, you may get a bit of fallout with them, but I really love the pigmentation. And with the eyeliner, they uh, it just gives a really soft, natural line, nothing too harsh. I really recommend whatever you do, you use a shadow eyeshadow as opposed to a eyeliner. Next I'm going to blend this out with my, um, I just call this a pencil brush, but it's by Equal Tools. They just called it a, I think they called it an eyeliner smudger brush. I just use it for fine detailing. Next I'm going to be curling my lashes and I'm just using my Shiseido Lash Curler and I may have to run away and come back and get my, uh, my mascara afterwards because I realize it's not in this basket. Anyway, I'm just trying to get a nice full lash because that's what she appears to have in the picture. And I'm going to move on to blush while I, before I grab my mascara. I'm going to be using this peachy blush, uh, cream blush. It's by the Dream Bouncy Blush, and it's in peach satin. It's actually quite a bit different than the, I have both this and the Dream Mousse blush in peach satin, and this one's quite a bit brighter. Just taking a little out of my finger. And applying this to the apples of the cheeks. 
And these go on a lot sheerer than how they look in the pans, so. She seemed to have a real peachy kind of beach kissed look there. Next I'm going to top that with a little bit of my Fox in the Box blush by Hard Candy in Spicy and Sweet. Just for staying power and to bring the color out a little more. I always like because I'm going out for the day, I always like topping my cream brush with a little bit of powdered blush. And last, next, I'm gonna, I did find my mascara in here, so I'm going to apply a bit of this. You really want to make sure your eyelashes are curled, because that's one of the parts of this look. If you have already naturally curly eyelashes, you may skip this step, but mine are super straight, so I'm just going to do that. Take my mascara, and this one's actually in a brown-black, because her mascara, even though it's her eyelashes are really full, it doesn't appear to be that dark, and it's a really natural look, so... And I'm just going to do the upper lashes today. If you want, you can do the lower ones as well. But since it's a hot day and I just wanted something quick and easy, I decided to just do my top lashes. And I do wear glasses, so I'm just going to avoid too much mascara on the top of my eyelashes. So I'm focusing more on getting them to stand up on the root of my lashes. Now, last but not least, she has a really pretty kind of a stained lip, and I'm going to be using my Maybelline Baby Lips, and I think this is in Cherry Me, or Cherry something. Anyway, the red tinted one. You can use any tinted lip balm, and I'm not going to apply this straight to my lips, I'm kind of just dabbing it. And blending my lips together, and here's this look. It's very easy, it's very natural, you can definitely do it. If I wasn't talking, I could definitely get this done in 10 minutes. And it's inspired by Rosie Huntington Whiteley. And please leave comments, leave me any suggestions, and I'll hopefully get back to you. And I can't wait to see you for my next celebrity-inspired tutorial.